It's now been about three years since I switched from using Unity to Godot, and with the recent drama around their new licensing fee, it feels like I really dodged a bullet. But that doesn't mean I still can't be critical of my decision to continue to use Godot. So I took a step back and really thought about why do I use Godot, and here are my top five reasons, and I like five because it's a nice round number, but I also have a six one at the end of the video. The first reason I like Godot is that it's a small but mighty engine with the download taking literally only a few seconds from my computer. And just like that, it's downloaded with 51 megabytes. And in a day and age when it costs us hundreds of um, gigabytes to download Call of Duty or Starfield, I kind of just appreciate an engine that only takes around 52 megabytes to download. And then you're probably thinking, well, since it's a small engine, it's probably missing some key features for you to make your game. And personally speaking, that just hasn't happened for me. I make pretty simple games. In my first commercial game, Chess Survivors, some of the things I refactored and changed later on in the project were situations where I didn't know that you know, like Godot had an A-star class built in, or I didn't really understand how to use tile sets effectively, and then I refactored my, my, my game to use some of the built-in Godot methods. And at the end of the day, if you are really struggling and you need a certain feature, you can head on over to GitHub and you can request that feature or see if it's a known issue out there. And because it's an open source project, and this is the second reason I like using Godot, is that it's it's you could go and change it. You could learn C++. I've never done it myself. I've actually never even submitted a bug because again, I have small and simple projects, but I could come here. I could upvote. I could, I could give reproduction steps. I could help out to make sure that in the next build of the game, that the, the, the bug fix I need was going to be there. And if someone was like, Hey, this isn't a high priority for us as a um, community, you could jump in and say, well, then I'm going to make it and I'm going to put in a pull request and I'm going to do it. Or you could even fork it off and I could make Aramis's Godot version on the side, which leads me into the next big reason I like Godot. And that's probably the most popular reason that people like Godot is that it's an open source project, which means by definition, it's free to use. and You'll never have to pay a licensing fee or royalty. But what I like about that specifically as a solo developer is that there's a lot that goes into making games. You have to figure out an idea that has the right scope. You have to then build the game. You have to test the game. You have to get feedback from players. You have to do even more bug fixing and bug fixing and bug fixing and bug fixing. It, it feels like most of the game is bug fixing. Then you have to finally build the game and get it to go on to Steam or Epic or whatever distribution platform you're doing. You have to make sure that it works on that platform. You have to then release the game, market the game. And the list goes on and on. There's just so many different things you need to worry about as a solo developer. And I hear you. My games have gotten nowhere close to the thresholds of Unity and Unreal, unfortunately. But there's that little voice on my shoulder saying, Aramis, what if your game becomes the next hit? Well, I can talk to that little voice and say, well, hey, buddy, I don't need to actually worry about paying the licensing fee because Godot is open source and free to use. And I truly do appreciate that about the engine. The fourth reason that I really like Godot is that it's pretty fast to use. Now, I have a beefy computer, but this is me opening up my game. And just like that, it's open. It opens up all the old scenes I use. It has all the old scripts I used. And this is a pretty big game at this point. There's a lot of different scenes and scripts, and it only took a few seconds to um, to load the actual engine. And then if I want to run the game and build it, it, that was it. That was right there. That now we're, we're playing my game. It's, it's random. That's nice. I built my game thousands of times at this point. And if it took an extra 30 seconds or a minute, that would add up over the thousands of times. And that's just, I'm a hobbyist. I'm, I don't have unlimited time to work on my game. And so when I sit down and I work on it, I want to be able to iterate really quickly. And that's something that I appreciate about Godot. The other big piece about this is that I don't recall a single time when it crashed on me and I lost any progress. I remember a few times when I was using Unity three years ago that I would crash and lose a couple hours of progress and that always felt really bad. I can't think of a single moment when that happened with Godot. I don't know if that's still a problem with Unity. Correct me in the comments if that's been fixed and stuff like that, but I can't think of a single moment when that has happened with Godot and that's nice. And the last thing that I'm going to say about Godot here is that I like GDScript. I have a background in programming and I have a Java background. So C Sharp was initially why I started using Unity. And I always kind of feared switching over to Godot would be challenging because I had to learn a whole new language. And it doesn't take that long to pick up. It's, it's pretty simple. 
the the readability is there your mileage may vary because it really depends on your own skill of how good are you at naming different scenes and scripts and stuff like that but that's true for any engine you're using and if you want to switch to godot and you want to use c sharp with godot you can i've never actually used c sharp with godot because gd script is easy enough to use on its own and i promise it'll be pretty quick for you to learn there's a little bit of syntax here and there and you can always hop over and, and, and pull up the documentation here. And if you find something that you don't like, you can easily submit an issue here. That leads into the very final point is that I like the Godot community because if you went to here and were confused, you could go to the Reddit. And there's a lot of great game dev Reddits out there, but I like the Godot subreddit. It's, it's one of the few subreddits that feels really supportive and welcoming. Right now, there's a lot of posts about people welcoming Unity people over and, and, and trying to give them a good start with the engine. And although the joke is that, uh, is that the, the Godot community is a bit of a cult, we're a cult because we just like it. We, we like Godot. We like the, our community we built over here. And uh, there's plenty of game dev Twitch streamers. I stream a little bit myself. But there's some other great ones like uh, Jackie Codes and Jotson. And uh, there's, a, there's a good uh, community of people and creators you can go find that you can hang out with and, and learn a little bit more about Godot. That's why I use Godot. But your mileage may vary and your specific use cases are varying and different. If you're in that analysis paralysis phase of what engine do I use, just pick one. It, it doesn't really matter. Your experience can can transcend the engine and, and learning how to become a game developer isn't just about knowing which pieces of the engine to use. It's about how do you approach the whole journey. I've been Aramis. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day.